Some of the best sights in Vermont happen just as the day is breaking. And that's certainly true at the annual meeting of the Experimental Balloon and Airship Association, which isn't as risky as it sounds. While these balloons are homemade, they do get stamps of approval from the FAA. These people are the artisans that create the design, the pattern making. Each one's got innovations that you won't quite see in the others. Actually, a lot of care goes into these balloons because, you know, the guy's building a balloon to put, put himself in. Shane Robinson came all the way from Joplin, Missouri, to the tiny town of Post Mills with three balloons stuffed in his car. These two balloons here are 42,000 cubic feet in volume, which is basically you could fit 42,000 basketballs inside. And he's got his sights set on the cloud hopper, which looks a lot like a flying chair. The single seat, what happens? Like, how do you use this? So the burner mounts up, up here, the uh -huh. tank here on your back balloon above your head and you just sit there and have fun your feet dangle and isn't that kind of terrifying though no I've been flying for 25 years so oh my God. this is this is fun I actually think driving to and from my flight is the most dangerous part of what I do he's one of a few dozen balloonists expected to show up for this event which is hosted by the airport's owner Brian Boland I designed and built the hot air balloon for my master's thesis as an inflatable sculpture piece little did I know it was going to take over my life He's logged thousands of hours flying over 45 years, and perhaps even more on his inventions. The newest is a fish called Wanda, and Friday was her first day with a motorized basket. Boland says this finned airship is perhaps the weirdest thing he's built, but she doesn't attract much attention here in town. All their flying happens early in the morning or later in the evening, before the sun heats up the air. And while Boland is giving Wanda a test, the rest of the crew is getting going. They first start by filling the balloons with cold air to get rid of all the wrinkles, but then they add the hot air to make them rise. These are perfect flying conditions, not too hot or cold and with no wind, which means we can go for a ride. You almost don't notice liftoff, it's so smooth. Unless you look down, you might miss that you're in the air. While most of these experimental balloons are lighter and only hold one or two people, ours holds three. Well, other than the occasional blast from the fuel, it really is pretty quiet up here, which gives you plenty of time to look out and enjoy the view. Ballooning isn't rushed, and that includes the sightseeing. As we gradually rose over the tree line, we could see the other balloons, the airport, and in the distance, Lake Fairley shrouded in morning fog. Uh, balloon to crew, do you read? Brian here. But eventually, it was time to head back down as slowly as we went up. Touching down to a soft and safe landing. Cat Villianzoni, Channel 3 News, Post Mills.